I'm going to start off with a quote too. Um, I'm fought for Standing Rock and the Native Americans. Um, and I believe the best wisdom is learned from the Native American people who have lived on this land before we did. We have noticed that everything as an Indian does is in a circle, and that is because the power of the world always works in circles, and everything tries to be round, the sky is round, and I have heard that the earth is round like a ball, and so are all the stars, the wind, and its greatest power worlds, birds make their nests in circles, for theirs is the same religions as ours. Even the seasons form a great circle in their chanting, and always come back to where they were. The life of man is a circle from childhood to childhood, and so it is in everything where power moves. In the beginning of all things, wisdom and knowledge were with the animals, for Tirawa, the one above, did not speak directly to man. He sent certain animals to tell men that he showed himself through the beast, and that from them, and from the stars and the sun and moon, should man learn. All things tell of Tirawa, all things in the world. And those quotes are from Native American peoples. And I'm trying not to speak as a greedy human being uh, from myself. I'm trying to speak from my heart and the things of our beautiful <coughs> earth. And I ask you from one human being to one human being to, I implore you to please open up your eyes to the circle of life, this beautiful earth that we have before us. So you can go out and see in our earth these beautiful things. I never knew anything about the earth about three years ago until my friends who are survivalists started showing me things about the earth, things that I can go out and feed myself, survive off the land. And all those things are so beautiful. You can live off the land. You can walk out this door right now and find things in the grass that I've used to stop people who have cut their fingers and have bleeded to death. They're, they're wheat. <laughs> and I'm just asking you these beautiful resources that we have. Please don't let Nestle Water Company destroy our earth, our water. They're taking water from our land and the circle of life. Everything is all connected. All these plants, everything. Our trees, our rivers. If you take one thing away, have you not seen a species where one species is removed? Somebody poaches them? in this room will not disagree with me that when you take something from our earth that it affects something else that's right. and that's true that's, right. that's true and when you start taking our water and you remove it it's going to affect something else the native americans said that you should protect our earth and our land for seven generations and i'm imploring you as human beings that we should do the same that we should protect our land for seven generations and that this permit it should be denied. It's for the best of the interests of our earth and our land and